It's one of the top places to be in the city. It's now in Gurgaon, Delhi, and Noida, all three places. If you want to have pizza, pasta, or shakes or desserts, and all items are highly calorie dense, but it's a must visit place. So we'll guide you how actually you can make better choices while eating out at Big Chill during this vlog. Here you can see the lovely ice creams as well, and you can see the amazing cheesecakes too. So without any further delay, let's get started. A basic pizza roll. This is basically miniature pizza, which is wrapped in the form of roll, as you can see. So basically, pizza dough, again carbs, filled with veggies and cheese, which is some sort of fiber and some cheese. Each roll will be around 200 calories or so. So the entire plate, which contains Six rolls will be 1200 calories, and coming to the taste, it's served with salsa. Here's a great tip: salsa is one of those dips which is very low calorie, so always opt for salsa. Or you can also go for basic mustard. Here the mustard is very strong, so be careful on the quantity used. This entire bowl of salsa would be hardly 50 to 60 calories if there's no oil, and this mustard, like five calories per teaspoon. So, highly recommend go for salsa or mustard and avoid mayo and other fatty dressings such as ranch and Caesar and all. Penne with vodka, the signature signature item of Big Chill. If you've been to Big Chill and you haven't tried this pasta, have you even been to Big Chill? Again, piece of bread, 150 calories easily. Pasta dominated by carbs. The sauce is a mixture of carbs again, tomato and cheese and vodka. Vodka again is an alcohol. Now, alcohol in, in itself is a macronutrient, but people don't consider it because it's not generally item with uh, it's present with other items. But it contains eight calories per gram. So hardly any alcohol is used. Just for information, that alcohol contains some calories. So this entire plate would be around 800 calories. Not 800, 600 to 800, you can say. So not a very big calorie dense item. But the problem with pasta is that it's very easy to over consume as it doesn't contain much fiber. So if you even eat this full plate and you have a large appetite, highly there are high chances that you'll go and order a dessert. So one thing you can do is add chicken or prawns or any other meat, and then uh, you can even go for a whole wheat option which they serve here. So by doing that, you'll automatically turn this. Uh, You can say a high calorie dense item into a good protein filling meal. Just showing you some ways how you can turn around your unhealthy meals or high calorie meals at restaurants to healthy weight loss pasta. The next item is ravioli, parmesan and cream. This also doesn't contain any meat, so it's basically dominated by fat. And the cheese content would be quite low, basically butter and cream. So it's dominated by carbs, which is basically. Pasta and butter and cream. This piece of bread in itself contains only 100 to 150 calories, so the entire plate would be easily around 700, 800 calories. And any normal person, I don't think, will be full after eating this. Just goes to show that you need some sort of protein to be full. Thin, thin sheets of pasta, all carbs. Very, very veg pizza, and there's no meat here, so obviously it's low in protein. All the protein that is coming from is from the cheese, but some sort of vegetables exist. So the total calories of this pizza would be around one thousand eight hundred to one thousand. For a change, we are trying veg pizza. It's basically dominated by tomato sauce. And as the pizza is thin crust, so the per slice the calories would be hardly 150 to 200. So it's better than thick crust pizza that we generally get at Domino's or Pizza Hut. The signature Mississippi mud pie, around 1200 to 1300 calories. 
full of ice cream coated with chocolate sauce. They have the hazelnut ice cream and the peanut butter, peanut butter taste. And it's based off with a cookie cookie biscuit. If you haven't watched the 10,000 calorie challenge, I finished all of this along with a pasta and a shake and a pizza. Highly recommend you check that video out. But today I won't finish this all. Hardly one or two bites. And neither do I encourage you to consume this entire thing. 1500 calories means that one average female's daily caloric intake. So either have this or the average female can have an entire day of eating. But nevertheless, this is absolutely worth it. As you can see. Done for the day. If you like the video, please do not forget to give it a like. To drop down your comments and let us know which place you want us to cover in this next Eat Out Get Fit series. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn on that bell icon to get notified. Thank you so much for watching.